All right, here we got an 11,000 ACX we're installing this evening. First thing you want to make sure of is you set your width. It'll tell you that in the instructions. And then next thing you're going to do is set your power post. That's the post with the motor. You want to make sure it's uh, level and plumb. We put the extension on. If you have enough height, ceiling height, we move it up to the second notch to get maximum height out of it. You have a couple sets of bolt holes there. Then on the other side, you set that post, snug up your bolts, make sure it's level and plumb, and then connect up your cross piece. On the cross piece, Make sure your bolts are aiming outward so they don't rub across the hose or the cable. You have your truck adapters, your arms and your pads. You always want the short arm toward the front of the vehicle. And here's your safety mechanism that keeps the arm from turning inward or outward as you lift the vehicle. Uh, so you want to make sure that those two gears are meshing so that doesn't turn. You have your cylinder, your locking mechanism that's behind this yellow arm carriage, and your cable adjustment to equalize so both sides are lifting equally and engage in the lock at the same time. Here's what the lock looks like on the far side. As the carriage lifts up, there's a place where it catches in there so it can't come back down. Same setup on the other side. Cables and lock mechanism. All right, now on this 220 volt motor, we use three wires, a white, a black, and a ground. And the other wire coming out of the top is your limit switch wire that goes up, connects to the limit switch and the crossbar. When you're connecting up that limit switch, make sure you connect it to the NC or the normally closed side of the switch. And then make sure when the bar goes up, it trips the switch, opens the circuit, which shuts off power to the motor. When you're lowering this lift, make sure you pull the lever for the cable that runs the latch on both sides and release the red lever to release the hydraulic pressure so the lift will come down. When it's all the way down, kick the arms back out, drive the vehicle off, and you're done. Pretty basic installation, uh, but if you have any problems, any questions, always give us a call. You wanna make sure that your bolts, when it's bolted to the ground, you set your post, you drill a hole, you put it in a bolt. You drill another hole, put in another bolt. Make sure you get all of your holes drilled, all of your bolts in, and then start snugging them up and leveling it out with the shim that's included in the package. Make sure your pipe fitting into your cylinder is tight before you connect up the hose to ensure you don't have any leaks there. That pretty much takes care of our 11,000 uh, pound ACX installed. There again, if you have any problems, any questions, give us a call or www.toolsplususa.com. Thanks for viewing our video.